In the shoulder of Orion, a massive red supergiant blows, Betelgeuse. For centuries, it's captivated observers across cultures. Unlike most stars, Betelgeuse behaves unpredictably with strange shifts in brightness that spark curiosity and debate. Every flicker feels like a message from deep space. In recent years, its behavior has grown more extreme, raising a central question, when will Betelgeuse go supernova? No tool or formula can say for certain, but something is definitely changing. One of the most notable events was the great dimming between late 2019 and early 2020. The star's brightness dropped dramatically, confusing scientists. Some feared it was about to explode. Then, just as suddenly, it brightened again. Astronomers now believe Betelgeuse ejected a huge dust cloud, temporarily blocking its light. Dr. Andrea Dupree of Harvard likened it to a stellar burp, a dramatic but natural act in a dying star's life. Not the end, but a sign. Then in May 2023, the Twitter account of BattleBots reported a 142% brightening. The American Association of Variable Star Observers confirmed the spike. It jumped from the 10th to the 7th brightest star in the night sky. Skywatchers around the globe, from city rooftops to remote hillsides, noticed its intense red hue piercing through light pollution. This surge felt like a live cosmic play, growing more dramatic with each act. The star is now cycling through brightness changes every 130 days, a major shift from its previous 400-day rhythm. Researchers suggest this cycle may persist for up to a decade, or it may signal the final countdown. Inside Betelgeuse, something extraordinary is unfolding. The star is fusing heavier elements in its core, helium into carbon, then oxygen, silicon, and finally iron. Once it reaches iron, fusion halts. The core collapses, triggering a supernova. Though it's 650 light years away, the explosion would still be visible from Earth. So bright, it could cast shadows during the day and rival the full moon at night, lasting for weeks or even months. The last time Earth witnessed a supernova like this was in 1604, Kepler's supernova, observed before telescopes were even invented. If Betelgeuse goes supernova in our time, it will be the first study with modern technology. Betelgeuse has long fascinated civilizations. Ancient Greeks, Aboriginal Australians, and others tracked its unusual light changes, viewing it as a celestial omen. Today, its allure remains powerful. What happens after it explodes? The core might become a neutron star, so dense a teaspoon of its matter would weigh billions of tons, or a black hole, from which not even light escapes. According to astrophysicist Dr. Peter Grove, predicting a star's explosion is like forecasting the weather. Betelgeuse is behaving strangely, but the final blast could still be decades away. Yet, every new observation adds to the mystery. Telescopes pick up pulses, brightenings, dimmings, atmospheric disturbances. It's like a giant cosmic heartbeat, beating louder each time. Scientists are watching closely for signs of core collapse or gravitational waves, possible signals of the star's imminent demise. Thanks to new tools, even students and amateurs can monitor Betelgeuse. Free online data and real-time observatory feeds make the star's journey accessible to all. Across continents, communities share updates, predictions, and observations. It's a rare global science event fueled by collective curiosity. Studying Betelgeuse gives scientists insight into the life cycles of massive stars. These giants live fast and die young. Unlike our sun, which will survive for billions of years, Betelgeuse is just 8 to 10 million years old, a cosmic teenager nearing its end. When it finally explodes, the event will release vast energy and radiation. It won't harm Earth, but the display will be unforgettable. Agencies like NASA and ESA are preparing telescopes and satellites to capture every moment. Astronomers are especially interested in the aftermath. How will nearby space react? Will we see new stars forming? Supernovas scatter elements across space, carbon, iron, oxygen, the ingredients of life, Betelgeuse's death could spark new beginnings. In that sense, its story is one of transformation, not just destruction. The very elements it forged could seed future planets and possibly life. As Carl Sagan once said, we are made of star stuff, 
Watching Betelgeuse unfold reminds us of that cosmic truth. Some compare watching Betelgeuse to waiting for fireworks. You don't know if they'll go off in seconds or years. But every flicker holds promise. It's a lesson in patience and all. Recent data from the European Southern Observatory revealed strange patterns in Betelgeuse's outer layers. The shell appears to be shifting asymmetrically, like a boiling pot under pressure. Researcher Lucia Blanco described it as a lid about to blow. This has sparked unprecedented collaboration. Teams from Japan, South Korea, Germany, India, and the US are sharing data and theories. Betelgeuse is no longer just a star, it's a global scientific mystery pulling humanity together. In classrooms and universities, it's now a key case study in stellar physics. Research papers explore dust behavior, magnetic fields, and even the possibility of a hidden companion star. People post daily images, simulations, and comparisons. It's science, art, and curiosity woven together.